Books and My Reader, Song, And today I will be reading to you from A Persony by Raindrops on Mushrooms. Now, on to Chapter 5. Afterwards, America and Russia go to a nearby cafe, taking a table on the private upper floor so people didn't bother them. America smiles, snuggled into Russia's fluffy jacket as he sips on his hot chocolate. Orange and yellow trees sway in the autumn breeze through the window behind him, their chill left behind on the jackets of other customers. Russia smiles softly at America, his chin resting on his hands as he watches the small country in front of him. America sets his cup down, sighing happily. Russia chuckles warmly. What? America asks, oblivious to the whipped cream on his nose. Here, let me get that for you. Russia reaches over, swiping the cream away with his thumb. America blushes brightly, giggling like a little girl. Thanks, he says quietly, twiddling his thumbs. Of course, Russia nods. Oh, uh, I had a question. America blurts. Yes? Russia smiles. So, the other day, when I was at your place, you told me sleeping on the couch brought back good memories. Can I ask what you meant? He asks. Oh, it just reminds me of my childhood. Really? Yes, when I was younger, our house was quite small. I had many siblings, adopted and biological. There was a total of 17 of us, not including my parents. Since there were rarely enough rooms for everyone, me and my parents would sleep in the living room, so all the other kids could share more the more comfortable rooms. Oh, that's sweet of you, America coos. Russia chuckles, a light blush painting his cheeks. What about you? Tell me about your family, Russia says, sipping his tea. Eh, we're not too special. I'm the eldest child, got three siblings. Canada is below me by a year or so. Australia and Kiwi are both four years younger, thereabouts. Kiwi? Oh, that's her nickname. Her name is New Zealand, but we all call her Kiwi because of the cute birds on her islands. Ah, I see. Russia smiles. Got both my parents. They're divorced, though. Mom is single, owns a cafe downtown. Dad got remarried a few months after the divorce. We're all on good terms, though. That's good. Family is important. Family of any kind. Russia smiles, taking another drink. America sniffs a bit, his eyes on Russia's cup. Whatever was in there smelled really good. You want to try some? Russia asks, jolting America from his thoughts. The smaller country blushes brightly, stammering a bit. Uh, um, I mean, if you want to share, I can give you some of mine. He offers. Russia chuckles. No, it's all right. I'm not much of a fan of sugary drinks. He offers America the cup. America blushes, taking the cup. It's warm, and the smell of tea inside is spicy and enticing. He takes a sip, blushing when he sees Russia watching him. His shoulders slump for a moment as the warm tea sends flavors exploding into his mouth. He swallows quickly, sighing in contentment. That's really good, he says quietly, breathing in the warm steam. Russia smiles softly. America was so cute when he was content. You can have the rest if you like. America blushes. R really? He asks. Sure, I wasn't too thirsty anyway. Russia smiles warmly. America blushes more, taking another sip, sighing warmly. Thanks, Russia. This has been really fun. He says quietly, looking up at the tall country in front of him. 
Russia smiles. His eyes are warm, his chin still resting on his palm. Anytime, my linky, he says softly. America giggles. What does that mean? He asks. Russia chuckles. Nothing of consequence. No, tell me. America whines. Russia laughs warmly, making America's heart skip a beat. That's for me to know, he says with a smile. Now I'm sure you have more questions about me, so go ahead and ask. Mm, how old are you? America asks, sipping the tea again. Twenty-seven. When's your birthday? June twelfth. What's your favorite color? Cherry blossom. Russia blushes slightly, making America giggle. Favorite food? Not one in particular. Favorite drink? Tea or vodka, but only on special occasions. Uh, America frowns, trying to think of more questions. You can get more personal than that, you know. Russia smiles. Oh, really? America blushes when Russia nods. Okay, um, sexuality? He asks shyly. Bisexual. Worn a few outfits to prove it. Russia winks with a grin. America giggles again. Any phobias? Mmm, drowning, I suppose, and heights, especially if I'm not in control. Makes sense. Uh, any crushes? Romantic interests? That sort of thing? America stammers a bit, fiddling with the sleeve of the jacket he's wearing. No one in particular, no. Russia smiles softly. America relaxes considerably, almost sighing in relief. Got any specific type? Eh, not really, as long as they're kind. Russia grins playfully. And definitely much shorter than me. Oh, you're mean. America giggles. I don't have any other questions. You can ask, though. Age? 25. Birthday. And so the afternoon continues, each of them questioning back and forth. Neither wanted to leave when the sun set, but they both knew they had to. They said their goodbyes, hugging each other tightly. Russia left, feeling as though he knew America as well as he knew himself. America left with more hope than he'd had in a long time. America flops into his bed with a happy sigh, snuggling into Russia's jacket. The Slav had insisted America keep the jacket for the next time they skated. America blushes and giggles to himself. Maybe he really did have a chance. Maybe Russia would love him. And that's the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time. And I will see you tomorrow!